Well, hello everyone. There was a massive landslide in the interior of British Columbia, Canada, along the Chilcotin River. The slide was about 600 meters long and 30 meters deep, so roughly 100 foot thickness of debris over a 2,000 foot stretch covered a stretch of the Chilcotin River, forming an unintentional dam, which is essentially going to be temporary. It's, it wasn't compacted or constructed, obviously. And uh, the river level is rising upstream of this temporary dam, as it were. And there's pretty much uh, very little flow downstream of this obstruction. So it's an ecological disaster. So now the reservoir level, as it were, is rising behind this temporary dam. And it's rising at a fast enough rate. There could be a couple of different failure mechanisms. And it's very much likely that this will fail here in the next day or two, according to local officials. But the most likely scenario is that it's going to overtop. And of course, earthen materials that form a dam, even unintentional dams in particular, aren't suited for being overtop because it leads to rapid erosion and scour and loss of section. And then you have a sudden or catastrophic release of the reservoir, which is most likely what's going to happen here. Now, if the water were to be impounded for a long period of time, chances are internal seepage and what they call piping, which is internal erosion that progresses from downstream to upstream and eventually forms a conduit with the reservoir and essentially erodes itself from the inside out. That could happen as well, but again, I think the water levels are rising fast enough that overtopping is by far the most likely scenario. And just as a reminder, we've seen some overtopping failures with some small dams here in uh, Minnesota. as well as in Wisconsin. At the end of June, early July. So it's been pretty rainy in many areas of the world. And this area of the Chilcotin landslide is between the towns of Haintsville and Dog Creek. Now this is a satellite image that was posted on X that lists the coordinates of this slide location. And you can see the scarp so the slide occurred on the right bank. So if you're looking downstream, your right would be the right bank. It's a Google Earth image of this location. We'll just zoom out here just to show you the overall location of this slide area relative to Vancouver. So you've got this yellow area flood watch that's due to the potential for this dam to have sudden failure and essentially produce a massive mud flow inundating areas downstream and there's a lot of debris, large trees, boulders, things like that. And then you've got this red area, which is a flood warning, and that's from the, the backup of the, of the river, which is forming this new reservoir, as it were. Just another view of the evacuation areas. The pink was the original, and then as water backed up the, in the red, they ordered an additional evacuation area. But you can see this is a view looking upstream so on the left-hand side, you see the scarp where the slide came down the hill and blocked the river. The Chilcotin River flows down to the Fraser River. So those earlier flood warnings I showed you include both the Chilcotin and the Fraser Rivers. So when this thing cuts loose, I thought I'd show you a video of what this is likely going to look like. This is some debris flows from massive rains in California last year. I can't believe people get this close kind of situations. There's people in a car videoing this out their window. People need to stay well clear of these areas. Now another hazard that I haven't heard mention in relation to this Chilcotin slide is that the soils along the banks of this new reservoir, as it were, are going to become saturated with the higher essentially river or lake levels. And then if you suddenly lower that uh, reservoir level, let's say when there's a breach of this unintentional dam, then the water level drops quickly enough that it causes instability of the slopes. And that's called rapid or sudden drawdown. And essentially what you're doing is you're removing the buoyancy forces from that portion of the slope. And then of course the, you've got the additional saturation of those materials, which act as additional driving forces and reduces the factor of safety and initiates a lot of slides. So 
Hopefully that won't be a widespread issue here, but I think it's a, a valid concern. And this is just a schematic showing you what this could look like for a zoned embankment dam, but the rapid drawdown failure surfaces uh, occur near the face of the slope. Now, of course, we've seen massive landslides in other areas. This is on the Yangtze River upstream of Three Gorges Dam as a massive landslide. And I think this in part was triggered by rapid lowering of the reservoir to try and accommodate additional floodwaters. Of course, the saturation of the slope from the rain can have a huge influence in driving these materials down slope. So I'll continue to keep an eye on this story. Uh, it's rapidly evolving, but uh, I think people need to give this whole area a wide berth. And uh, I'm sure the locals will be using things like uh, satellite LIDAR to image other areas along this river to make sure that they know where additional slide areas may be starting to initiate. And I think this is going to be a huge mess that's going to take months and months to, to clean up if, if they can even do it within that time period. Please stay tuned for future videos. I've got some interesting free download links in the description, so you might want to check those out. Top civil engineering disasters of the past 100 years and a recap of what's going on with the Artemis program, NASA's plan to return humans to the surface of the moon. So I want to send a shout out to the channel members and those of you who have provided super thanks. I'm going to roll the credits for those folks. I really appreciate your ongoing support of the channel.